Welcome back to Audit Zone. A Michigan State Police Trooper, Paul Arrowwood, and one of his colleagues were on patrol when they saw a Saginaw man, Michael Wilson, allegedly not walking on the sidewalk. The two troopers got down from their vehicle and walked up to Wilson. Without telling him about his offense, they grabbed Wilson's hands and led him to their patrol vehicle. Wilson told them that he had not committed any crime and asked the officers to turn on their body cameras. As he tried to argue his innocence, Arrowwood tackled Wilson such that he landed on the ground chest down. Arrowwood then repeatedly punched Wilson in the face while ordering him to put his hands behind his back. Before we continue, let me thank the civil rights lawyer for sharing this video on his YouTube channel. Stop. I ain't even doing nothing. I'm not even doing nothing. I'm not, I'm not, y'all got your camera room? Yep. Please do. Yes, yes, yes. Time on foot. Yes, yes, yes. Time to do that to me. Hey! 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 I, I can get my hands behind my back, bro. I can get my hands behind my back. Oh. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Or you're going to get chased. Roll the fuck over. Roll over and you're going to get chased. I'm going to fucking chase you, man. You little bitch. Now turn over. Turn over. Your hands your back. Put your hands the crime allegedly committed by Wilson was his failure to use the sidewalk. That allegation is supported by section 257.655 of the Michigan Vehicle Code, which states, where sidewalks are provided, a pedestrian shall not walk upon the main traveled portion of the highway. Where sidewalks are not provided, pedestrians shall, when practicable, walk on the left side of the highway facing traffic which passes nearest. A person who violates this section is responsible for a civil infraction. So we could say the troopers had probable cause to detain or arrest Wilson. However, from the onset, they approached this man with excessive force without even telling him about his crime. The Michigan State Police has policies concerning the use of excessive force when carrying out official duties. Section 02-06-2 of the Member Conduct and Authority Policy defines excessive force as force that is objectively unreasonable under the circumstances or that otherwise clearly violates department policy governing the use of force. The policy further states, enforcement members who use force to intervene shall do so consistent with department policy governing use of force. Physical intervention shall only be attempted when it is objectively safe to do so. In the case that there are more than one officer on scene, enforcement members who observe indicators that excessive force may be imminent, such as obvious anger, loss of composure, or intentional escalation of an encounter, shall intervene by taking reasonable steps to prevent the use of force by the other person. The other members on the scene shall take all reasonable steps necessary to prevent or stop the use of excessive force or unnecessary violence committed in their presence by other members. Also, as seen in the use of force policy, Enforcement members are to de-escalate the amount of force used proportionally to a resisting subject's de-escalation of his or her resistance. The enforcement members are trained to utilize multiple forms of de-escalation techniques, including but not limited to verbal skills, physical skills, restraints, and less lethal tactics. Based on all these policies, it is clear that officers of Michigan State Police are only to use excessive force if a suspect resists them excessively. In this video, Wilson only mildly resisted his detainment by arguing that he had not committed any crime. The use of excessive force by Arrowwood was absolutely unnecessary. The second trooper was also ready to tase Wilson, which was also against their de-escalation policy. More officers arrived at the scene and helped put Wilson into custody. Arrowwood then claimed Wilson was resisting. It seemed Wilson was seriously injured as he demanded for an ambulance. You goddamn motherfucking bastard! Let me tase him! Man, 
Oh, Gil, like, there was plenty of reasons. Oh, well, reason. You're resistant? <laughs> I never did. You never did. You're doing it right now. Never did. You know, like, never did. Never did. Okay. What's his name? I don't know. Yeah, we were right, he was right there where you're standing. No, I had it out because I was going to tase him, but... Maybe it's because he's got, like, reflective stuff on his, like, shiny stuff on his back. Where do you guys see him at, originally? Right here. So there's no chance he turned off? No, we, we were, he was, he didn't even see us until we right. turned our lights on. Is anybody missing all the things? No. No. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, can I get out? No, I'm just sick of I'm beat the fuck up. He beat you the fuck up. Him right there. No, look at my fucking face. I didn't do shit to him. I didn't do shit. I didn't do nothing. So I want a report on every fucking thing. I never resisted arrest like that. I didn't do nothing to him. I didn't say nothing to him. He caught me, grabbed me, and beat me the fuck up. So I want help. I need help. I need an ambulance. I need everything. My face hurt. I'm finna cry. I'm, I'm fucked up about this. No. So what, what you want to say? Michigan State Police also has a policy concerning victims of excessive use of force. In the use of force policy, it is stated that enforcement members shall render first aid at the scene of the incident as soon as practical to any individual who has visible injuries, complains of being injured, or requests medical attention. Thankfully, one of the ambulance team members attended to Wilson on the scene. Wilson was taken to the Saginaw County Jail on a charge of assaulting, resisting, or obstructing police. Thankfully, prosecutors declined to charge Wilson with any crime related to this incident. Unfortunately, Wilson got into trouble with another trooper in November. This time, he was charged with assaulting, resisting, or obstructing police. An investigation was opened concerning the incident in this video. On September 30th, the Michigan State Police suspended Arrowwood. He is to remain on unpaid suspension until his criminal case is resolved. The judge eventually set a $7,500 personal recognizance bond for Arrowwood. He also ordered Arrowwood to visit the Saginaw County Jail to be booked and fingerprinted. Also, as a condition of his bond, Arrowwood is to have no contact with Wilson. Unsurprisingly, Arrowwood had a previous criminal record. In July 2020, he violated departmental policies during a traffic stop when he and his colleague confronted and detained a civilian that had a legally owned pistol in his truck. The director of the Michigan State Police, Colonel Joe Gasper, commented on his recent misconduct by saying the actions of Trooper Paul Arrowwood fall outside of MSP policy and procedure and they constitute an unwarranted use of force. The members of the Michigan State Police are committed to treating everyone with dignity and respect, and we will tolerate no less. When we fall short of this standard, we will hold our members accountable. I commend the director for bringing Arrowwood to accountability. Let us hope more police departments follow in his footsteps. Well, that's all concerning this video. Thanks for watching.